we got to see we're learning here too we've got diamond to a diamond to a diamond my point is they always got to be on the sides here to a diamond we can draw them up and down we don't want to draw them in a straight line because they're up and down but we got to go on the arms here so i think there's one more diamond and then that's going to go down to a anybody got an idea over here we've got o's minus there because watch what happens over here we've got a diamond down here and we've got a diamond here these diamonds get are just simple little proton dots and we'll go back that up just a bit here dot dot these going through there's always two one up there two over there so somewhere again, I picture this like somebody goes, oh, finally, I get to just do the dots. Okay, you can color those in, waste ink. We're not going to waste ink, so we'll just draw them in there. C, 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 C. One, two, three, four, five carbons. One, two, three, four, five carbons. This, again, is what is called... Okay, gang, I messed up before. We had to draw this real fast. This turns out to be L Orn. O R N. I was spelling it wrong. Ethene. Okay, so we are doing some more. These are called the post translational amino acids. These are changed after they've been coded for. So, what's neat is the DNA coded for an amino acid knowing it didn't have a code for it but there would be an enzyme later to fix it so the dna knew to code for a selenium on the end of a molecule it coded for a sulfur but it knew that it would get a selenium on the end of it so that is some cool stuff all right now we are going to do carnitine and we're going to do this one sideways again What I see is the same carboxyl background here. So here is a diamond. Carboxyls are the O acids, they call them. Get all that OH and just leave that as an O. We'll get into this triplet singlet state of oxygen there's really interesting stuff going on later so we're just rolling along here we got our backbone there we're going to keep the diamonds on the sides and we'll just go up and down with them so this was down so this one's up side this one's down this is the diamond right and what this gets on the end up here is what do we call this? O. Let's see, how do we do it? We do it with the dot in the middle, right? So there's O surrounded by green. That's our alcohol. So we could have done that there too. O8, we'll just leave that as it is. Got to know a little bit of the traditional writing that they use. Carbon, carbon, carbon carbon so when I looked there was one two three four carbons and then the proverbial nitrogen alien lone pair of electrons a little head in there I can't do this sideways like I used to so what we have is carnitine this is so essential for the metabolism. Carnitine. 
for your fat metabolism. You're going to have two carbons, beta carbons, they call them. Any triglyceride fat that you eat in your diet is going to get broken down into twos. And those twos are carried into the mitochondria. And carnitine is one of the essential nutrients that you need to do that. So if you have a carnitine deficiency, you're not going to be burning fat as efficiently as you would like. So where's the little one here? Come do the dots. Dot, dot. One dot, two dots, one, two, and guess what? This gets a third dot here. So that makes that nitrogen with a plus on it. So really, when we get down to this, that would not have the H on there. If this is free floating, that would be a minus, and this would get the plus charge on there. So see, that's why I say you need to draw that lone pair of electrons in there. And if we got to do it as an alien, we got to do it as an alien. But that nitrogen, you got to know, and the books never show you this. I told, tell everybody, I go to these conferences, biggest chemistry conferences in the world. I go in the vendor section and I tell the people making the models. This is where the chemistry happens, kids, is with the electrons, especially the electron pairs. And they make these ball and stick models that aren't worth a darn. They're not worth diddly squat. So we're doing them with balloons and shapes. So this is carnitine. Okay. Got one more to do here. Now that my nice long piece of paper fell to the wayside. This one, again, is a trans means later on is fixed. It's going to be kind of similar here. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, so let's draw our diamond. I can see why they're calling these amino acids when they were finding them in the body and wondering, wonder what this is for. Well, it sure looks like amino acid when it's got the carboxylic acid out on the side. And draw the H on there, how they like to do it. And then what you're going to get here is to a diamond. Always to another on the sides, arm part. Down here, diamond. Like I said, it's hard drawing diamonds sideways. I'm way over here on the left trying to draw this. So down here, nitrogen triangle. Hmm? Isn't this, I'm having a blast doing this. I think this is fun. If I had get to study chemistry like this, instead of the boring traditional way, uh-oh, I may have drawn too many carbons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there, that one goes to a triangle. In the middle of this. So that triangle goes to a diamond. And that diamond gets two O's on it. Well, one O, but two bonds. So now we're going to draw that down to a triangle. So I think it's a lot easier to distinguish here using the shapes. The triangle, circles, diamonds, dots. Because, see, the hydrogens aren't that important. They're the little space filling, balancing out the electric, electromagnetic charges on all this. See, that had a lot of dots. So now when you go through and you're counting the hydrogens, I mean, you're counting the dots. What's more fun? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hydrogen, eleven there. Proton dots. Okay, so when we look through this now, we've got the nitrogens... One, two, 